All right, everyone. Welcome back to more Hitman 3. So we're going to continue with um, with the chasing a ghost. This is a mission in Mumbai. Um, we are going to have to do three assassination. Here we go. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Yeah, when I originally played it, this was like huge area so many things happening so many people uh, lots of uh, <clears throat> lots of enforcers three separate areas three separate um, assassination but uh, we'll first take care of maelstrom 47 this is one of the mumbai chores my records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building something related to strange behavior yeah that's uh, that's a funny one basically there is an what indian said, sniper here and you can help him take out uh, daud rangan I and vanya shah the crows on your map i don't know uh, i need the money but uh, you can directly take a crows uh, in fact that's what we are going to do we are going to take uh, one of the crows uh, disguise and basically take care of maelstrom first so first we are getting a um, a crowbar and as i mentioned i we keep mentioning every episode i'm following the guides created by the hitman algorithm channel so here we go up our goal is to basically get a disguise now and then reach the top of this hill and basically raise a flag which will make Maelstrom come over here. The story is that his wife or previous partner, he wants to get back in with her. Uh, she lives in this, uh, in this area and they were planned to have a drink together. Okay, hide because another guy is going to come in check we are going to throw the iron on him and let's pull him in take his gun take the iron back and pull him in and put him in a, into a closet here the houses they have made they are so big uh, not typical of Mumbai. Mumbai living space is very limited, so people live in very small houses. So it won't be this big. 47. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. We're just dis distracting those two guys. I know we're supposed to raise okay, the flag. Okay, here we go. It's yeah, important to us, actually pick to up that brick the and then raise the flag. This actually will make Maelstrom come up the hill and will hide in ambush. So our plan is to drop a neon sign over his head. So just below this neon sign, we'll put a coin. You should wait for both of these guys to pass. Otherwise, they will pick up the coin. So I'm going to go here, drop the coin. 
and then wait here. That's it. With gun in hand. We'll shoot the neon sign. It, you don't have to like uh, shoot any support or anything. Just shooting the sign is more than enough. We'll have to wait for a while. Forty-seven. Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secured area. It looks like a man. See if you can get close to him. There he is, coming. Miss Bond would also say, uh, Millstorm is coming." Good job, huh? Okay. Forty-seven. There. That man you just eliminated. That was the Maelstrom. Well done. No How does she the know? Wicked, however, on to the next one. Okay. So now the brick that we picked up that comes into picture. We'll drop it in a fire to raise some smoke, so that which is a signal for the other two guys to meet with Maelstrom. So they will come to meet with Maelstrom and that's where we'll drop something on their head. Here we go, put the brick in here. Well, that caused a pillar of purple smoke to rise above the slums. Let's see what happens next, 47. 47, Shaw and Rangan are both on the move. I think they're heading for the beach area near the slums. Okay, time to set ourselves up. So, you oh, there are two the of them works. here. Uh, we'll try to distract one to that corner. Look at that crow uh, painting. Nicely done. The other guy will throw another coin um, in the staircase so that he doesn't come this way. Okay. Normally he will come this way. And he will find out. Yeah, I got some weird noises here. I got Let's some go weird noises here. Can you help me out? Oh, that hard. Okay, now to wait for them, um, keeping an eye on the minivan. Both of them will come here in a, in a couple of minutes. We'll also have to keep a watch out for the surrounding because people can actually see you um, drop this boat. Especially there is a girl going up and down on the right side. Um, she can easily uh, see. I think she's far away now. That's good. Okay, here we go. Okay, it should be very easy to escape. Darwood Rangan both confirmed killed. Very nicely done. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. They have bodyguards, so do not go. We do not go near the bodies. We'll just take a boat and go to get out.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember. Everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know. It's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function. But we made a pact. You and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject Six. Your name is Subject Six. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but... After Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, 
But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. So finally we are working together with Lucas Gray, the Shadow Client. And we are getting into the next mission. Um, again, two uh, main assassination and then some uh, document finding. Some clues. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a Whittleton picture perfect Creek. suburban dream. Wide roads golden maple trees and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets, a recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Okay, so three parts of the mission and three stories. So the first one basically is this bug guide. Um, we get the the, the story from here, from these two guys. House. Same guy who just did Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green Here shipping container. Apparently, there is a fumigator in town. He's working on a house belonging to a James Batty, and has previously been working on Cassidy's house. The fumigator has stored some of his chemicals, a strong sedative, in a container in a vacant lot near the creek. Sounds like this could be useful, 47. To store some chemicals? I asked him if it was poison. So once we got the insecticide, it's time to get the dress from the the bug guy, bug hunt. Yeah, this mission is pr like this area is pretty big, and also quite a lot of different kind of people, right? And some houses are okay to go in, some houses are not. So we'll um, knock this guy out and take his dress. Have to wait a little bit. We 
we also took the two keys which uh, one of them will use right here uh, the goal is there is fumigation going on the machine is off so we'll use that pesticide um, put it in the machine is off so it's not going to knock them out but in the meantime we'll go in and we'll destroy the um, the surveillance system With that done, it's time to go up. So this specific pipe is not out of bound. Like as soon as you go, go in, it's not trespassing. We'll go to the first floor. That guy will even make uh, some comments. What are you doing? You'll break your leg. Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. Okay, we'll have to take out two of the guards who are on this floor. So we'll wait for them, take them out one after another. Okay, now it's time to break this case and lure Cassidy in. So we can basically turn on that that uh, the bug machine. I forgot what it's called. Bug SWAT. And then we'll basically, it will nicely done. Nicely done. It will nice knock everyone Quiet, out. Like so we'll just go in, break his neck and that's it, done. So that's what we are going to do next. Oh, that was close. Are you going to come in? He is going to come in. So he is going to knock himself out very soon. We'll just wait for him to do that. Oh, there he is. Close. So good because we needed someone close to the door. And as soon as we change our dress, we start getting... Uh, Zaps. Okay, now time to choose the next story. Okay, let's talk to the mailman. That actually starts the the information gathering mission. Honey, it's me. You called? Yes. I, do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really. Yeah, we didn't let him finish. We have to run a lot.
Yeah, our main goal is to distract the guy who is in this building. So that's what exactly what we will do. So that we can run in the backyard. Okay, we had his keys because the the bug SWAT guys had it. You go to his shed and pick up some document. That'll be document number one, the, the clue number one. Here we go. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Hmm. Okay. A recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. So that's where we'll go because that's where we can listen to what's on the tape. Aha! Let's listen. Yes, I understand. You tried to reach me earlier. Ah, there you are, my boy. Yes, well, it's about the chairman's seat. I understand Frederick was overlooked despite my recommendations. I would appreciate an explanation of the reasoning behind the decision. Well, it's a long and rather complicated discussion to undertake over the phone. Your request was put in front of the partners and considered, but in the end, it was decided to assign the role to the Washington Twins. The partners saw their ideas as a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. They are fortune seekers, robbers of the past, focusing on glory and wealth and outlandish futuristic dealings rather than conservation. They are not representative of what the society was built for. I understand your concern. Rest assured, I will be watching them closely very well. It seems we have a lot to discuss when we meet soon. Agreed. Until then. Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter. And that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. So that's where we'll go, where the third, uh, uh, the third clue is, it's in the basement of Genesis house. So we'll wait for this guard to move, move, look away, so that we can go to the basement, here we go. And inside, in the basement, there is another guard. We'll knock him out, take his dress. No one else is here and no one else comes down to the basement. So we should be okay leaving him out. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence Partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the Constant. 
We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. Should the Ark Society annual gathering. 47, that's it. That has to be the event where Janus and the Constant are meeting. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the Constant. Clear bead? We can expect she to keeps find saying him it. at the annual gathering of the Ark Society Oh, in she's November. just repeating herself. It should be enough. Okay. So finally we are out of there. Now to take out Janus. We need to go pick up a pack of smokes. That's what we are going to do next. Mr. Wilson, I normally hand deliver mail to everyone, but alas, nothing new for you today. Can I just say, this party was very nice. Oh, the mayor Oh, yeah. So, the other day, I accidentally asked James about that turn in the basement. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, can't really be sure. Zoned out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used a gramophone in the house. Man, that tune kicked off some old memories and some long ass stories. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all of his memorabilia. You know how it works. The old man can't remember anyone's name, but trigger an old memory, he's got perfect recollection. Well, I've learned my lesson. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. Okay, here we go. These two guys will hey, talk about uh, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden? No, man. Uh, I'm so, Jane the smoke. Stop. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old Jesus stop as well. That's it. Now let's get back to the f the second floor in Jonas's house. It'll take some effort. Before that, we'll just pick up a range here because we'll need that soon enough. You have to wait for this guy to not look because this is a trespassing zone. Okay, here we are in. On this level, there are two guards. I think I run into them or when I, I try taking out one, the other guy sees me and I take out just both of them. You cannot leave them out because Janus will come upstairs and will see uh, like someone saw. Okay. <laughs> on the ground now and then he falls down on the ground okay uh, I don't have any problem uh, taking out Janus and his body so. oh, they are finding bodies here and there everywhere okay we'll go into Janus's room which is just opposite room put down the cigarette packet which was thrown out before and mess with his oxygen tank so when he lights it up that's Good it work, 47. he's done all there is left to do now is wait we won't wait around because the walk to the exit is very long so i'm going to at least get some distance before jonas manages to limp uh, upstairs and uh, get blown up
any minute now. I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in this poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition man. Unless it's a flesh eating mutant mole, you don't need it. Okay, there he is. He's going to light it up and done. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with me. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still, we'll run to the bus stand and take a bus out of here and then enjoy the cutscene. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Okay, the final mission in Hitman 2 before before the um, the DLCs is two Washington sisters in the Isle of Scale. And the constant will also be there. We'll basically kidnap him. So this is also very elaborate. And uh, we are going to follow two main stories for each of the, the sisters. Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. 
The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. First thing first, um, we'll disable the, the security ah, system. One more, I see. Won't you join us? Ah, I see someone's in a hurry to get inside. Yeah, we are late. Well. Everyone is here, so you're not going to wait around listening to you. Okay. That guy will always see me. I don't know why my timing always works like this. So I'll hide here, here for a couple of moments. No one else will look behind them. So once he turns around, goes back to his post, we'll take out the security system and just run out of the room. Not to the right, but to the left. Here we go. Okay. Hide the pistol. Okay. Now time to choose the first story. Phoenix from the Ash. We need a disguise. Disguise of the guy who actually runs a ritual. Who is the main character of a ritual, which where I think one of the sisters will go into a phoenix and then the whole thing will catch in fire and she'll basically just, it's a magic trick, she'll just escape from the back. Here we are, we are going to mess with that system. Yep. We messed with the system. So the, when she actually goes in, problem is the guy who is supposed to run it is delaying because he has some problems. So we'll have to take his disguise or his dress as our disguise. So that's what we are doing. Oh, here is the helicopter. We almost got caught. No, you didn't see anything, that buddy. Okay, he he lost interest. Damn. Oh, <laughs> I lost my way for a moment. Okay, here there are quite a lot of people. So we'll distract the guard on the left with a coin. And then only after he's distracted, we'll also distract the main guy with the dress in the middle. If you don't throw the coin, then switching on the gramophone will bring in the guard instead of him. The guard is back in his post. No one is looking this way, and it's right time to take him out. Good job. Okay, here we go. Wait for him to switch off the gramophone so that it does not attract anyone else. And we are done. We'll put him in here. And take his dress. Now it's finally time to Put some fire on the phoenix. Ah, Mr. Fenniger. Mr. Fenniger. Okay, here goes the ritual. And yet, a drop in the ocean. A drop in the ocean. We'll have to wait for the sister to come in. Here she is. 
Zoe Washington. Zoe Washington. The Ark Society recognizes you as our founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress, be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose sharp, of sir. the elite. Not just to yeah, lead, man, but jacked. to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud, be fearless, for the future is ours to shape. Look at you, Fenneger, all dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes. Not just to survive, but to live. <laughs> now she's panicking. And everybody thought that was part of the performance. Okay, we are done with the first lady. One target down. Nice work. Sir. Let's move on to Next the second one. So there is a museum here and uh, Famous explorer is donating a, a necklace to the museum. So we'll steal this, and then we will assassinate the second sister with this, this necklace. There is quite a lot of background story to this. Anyway, the Washington twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel repels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap and you know murder and mayhem ensues but i thought those two were lovers on and off currently way off which explains the added security i don't follow so according to its charter the ark society collects priceless art and historical artifacts in case of a global disaster and this year world famous treasure hunter blake nathaniel has donated an aztec necklace called the cloud serpent to the ark society's growing collection however blake fears that sophia washington his former lover and rival who has hunted the cloud serpent for years will attempt to steal it for herself before it goes into storage hmm could be just the bait we need think about it they're all now you know rich so he I thinks see. he is in the room. Blake that's Sophia might Blake. Steal back the necklace that's him. So we'll wait for him to go out and then well, steal it. Otherwise, he will immediately notice thieves, it. Huh? Because he expects it to be stolen by the the other Washington sister. Okay. Here he goes. So this is going to switch it off, but it's only going to switch, switch off for a moment or two because the guard will notice it and go and switch it back on. So we'll wait for the guard to leave, switch this one off to distract the second guard, and that's it. Now when this lady moves... Alarm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47. One step ahead of you, lady. Good at this. Okay, here we go. On. 
Done. We are out of here. The sparrows got nothing on you. <laughs> now we'll have to wait for Blake to come here. And basically evening, we need him, his dress as our disguise. So we'll do that. We are still waiting for him after five minutes. He's here. He has told the guards. So that's why the guards go back in. And first time I tried this, I distracted the guard. I, so I want to wait for the guard to actually go into the room. And now we can distract him. Take his clothes. Hello? Someone there? Hello? Okay, let's go talk to the Washington oh, sister. Evening, Sophia. Blake? Sophia. I almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Can we talk? <laughs> this should be good. Follow me. So they are all like real, well, the, you know, rich people in the real world, IRL. Because those people also talk about cryogenics and all that. Um, so here we go. We are coming to the room where we'll stop. She will send the guards away and then we'll assassinate her. Her heart's desire, shall we? Heart's desire. I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. Leave us. You know, we lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me, we only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. Now, this is a nice gesture, but it doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine. Okay, equip the necklace. You know, I thought about sending the boys X after you. To assassinate. Grab the necklace and cut your throat ear to ear. You probably wonder why I didn't. The truth is, you beat us, Blake. I don't deny it. <laughs> Okay, she has a uh, kill suit that we And now to confront the constant. Yeah, let's put her body. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. Okay, that's what we are going to do. We are going to go to the constant, tell him we have the kill switch. And walk to the harbor. It'll take some time. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. Behaving yourself, I hope. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. My dad used to rent a castle for me and my friends on my birthday, so we could park. You know, live action role play. We were nice and no partners no more. I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. You know what it's about? 
It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. Distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Take it, this is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. We appreciate operation. your attendance. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? Oh, I see. The penny drops. I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? By not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners, the men behind I was there, the so hopefully you, all this pain. you liked it. Well, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. All, I'll see you with the next episode. Berry. I don't know, probably two or three more episodes only. I'm not going to play the DLC missions because I have to buy it. I am, I am playing the Hitman 3 through Game Pass. So it's again $24 for the DLC, which I don't want to spend just for like two and two, four missions. Okay, enjoy the cutscene. Game Changer it's out. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. 
the Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you were so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet... Something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.